What's going on guys? Today we are checking out the official music video for Friendly Fire, which is a brand new song by Linkin Park that I actually missed out on. Um, I actually ended up missing this song completely by accident. Um, as you guys know, or may not know, Linkin Park is hands down my number one favorite band in the world. I've been listening to them since their very, very early days of like 2001, 2002, 2003. So, you know, I've been on this journey with them for a very long time now. And when I heard that they were dropping a new song, like, I was, I was excited, but also kind of, you know, sad because of the fact that obviously, you know, you know, Chester not being here. Now, I was told that this song is very emotional and very, very heavy. So, if you guys do like this, y'all know what to do. And, uh, let's get into it. Tell me the words I've forgotten What we were fighting for Staring right into the darkness through an empty open door Can't put back what's been broken Can't change the moment We went too far Damn Dude, right off fucking rip I know I'm pausing it super soon But dude, oh my god See Chester like that, man Holy crap Like that Wow, dude, I got fucking goosebumps, man. That is crazy. It's like, it's bittersweet. Like, it's very bittersweet. Like, to, like, see a new video with him in it and knowing that he's not here, but this being as if he's still, you know, with us is very... It's very strange. It's very... This, the feeling is very strange. It really is. We're pulling apart for no reason. We're pulling a trigger in a useless war. And if we come back and go into the black, what are we fighting for? What are we fighting for? I was dude, let me, let me go back for a minute, dude. That image. What are we fighting for? That image right there, man. Oh my god. What are we fighting for? That image right there, man. Oh my god. Of Chester with his friends, man. With the people that were essentially his brothers. Like, dude. to protect you no matter what's to come some I forgot when they told me we hurt the ones we love can't put back what's been broken can't change the moment we went too far
her and yell at just that that hit home with me so hard because a lot of people a lot of you guys already know my story and what I went through. And because of what I went through and you know, there's many people that tried to help me and a lot of the times I was so angry that I ended up lashing out at them. Not even meaning to. Like, a lot of times I lashed out at people not fucking meaning to because I was so frustrated and still, and to this day, frustrated with the situation that I'm dealing with. Like, it... And that's where the... Like, that song just... You know, I just really feel like if people stopped doing the shit that they fucking do to people with these online attacks and stop doing this, stop doing that, and started treating people as humans instead of fucking animals. Instead of like monkeys in a cage saying, oh, do this for us, do that for us. I feel like if there was less of that crap and more love and care and understanding in the world. Shit like this wouldn't happen. But because people want to treat these people as if, you know, as if they're the fans' property and they're not. Like, it, it's fucked. Like, I deal with a lot of the same shit a lot of the times, and it sucks. And there was a time where I, too, was on, where I was actually at the edge of suicide to where I had attempted it twice in a row because of what I deal with. So I understand very well what it's like to be at that point, and it's never fun. It's never okay to be at that point. Thankfully, I had friends and family that had my back. That helped me to realize that that's not the way to go. But sadly, a lot of people don't have that. And that's what's so sad is there's a lot of people that don't have that person that they can turn to. Or that person to tell them, hey, it'll be okay. And as a result, you get stuff like what happened with Chester with people that take their own lives. Anyway, let's get back into this. But Paul That hit home so hard, man. Oh my god, that hit hard. Dude, like, I can't even, man. That just... 
Oh man, it's it's sad to see that wonderful people like Chester who were such a light in this world are often taken away from us way too soon. And as a result, you have people that end up lost in life because they don't know what to do because that music saved their life. Like, I'm not going to lie, Linkin Park, their music has saved my life on more than one occasion. Like, their music is what helped me to get through a lot of the stuff that I dealt with throughout high school, and their music still helps me to this day. Like, their music is therapy for me. And I try to do what they did for me, for other people, through my music. By talking about the things that I go through and the things that I deal with. Because, I'm not going to lie, what I deal with, I would never wish on anyone. Not even my worst enemy. Like, all these people make me out to be this evil, evil fucking person, and I'm really not. Yeah, I've done some bad shit, but I was forced into those positions, and I feel like there's very few people out there that are like Chester that would more than likely be willing to actually, you know, approach somebody like myself or someone as a human being, and instead of like this person that did something wrong. Like, more often than not, I get people that approach me every day as a human being and are like, hey, what you're going through is not okay. And they're right, it's not okay. Which is why I refuse to stay complacent. That's why I refuse to, to not comply with what these evil people, these evil demonic people, that's why I refuse to do what they want. And if you are going through that, man, I want you to know that you are not alone. You do have people that do care about you. And if you feel like you don't have anybody that cares about you, come to me. Because I care. I care about every single person. Every single person that watches this video and gains something good from it, I care about you guys. I really do. You guys are you wonderful people out there that are not evil. You guys are what inspire me to keep going. And I want you guys to know that if you are out there, you are not alone. You have people like myself out here that genuinely care. Because no one deserves to go through any bad stuff at all whatsoever. Just like you guys, I'm a human being. I have my good days, I have my bad days. I suffer from depression, I suffer from PTSD. And it sucks. I also suffer from anxiety and it really sucks. Like, it really does suck and I want you guys to know that if you're out there and you're seeing this and you're going through any of that, just know that you're not alone and that eventually things can and will get better. I know it might not seem like it, but trust me, it will. With that being said, I love you guys. As I always say, stay humble, stay positive, keep being your wonderful, awesome, beautiful, talented, amazing self. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.